15-1-2-5, the score as we look on videotape of Maxim Divyatovsky. Russia strong on the floor. Yeah, way. 16.1. Wow. Talk about uh, a clinic. Yeah. We're seeing it now. And these are just amazing scores. Anything above a 16 on these events outside of vault is and on parallel bars very it's next to impossible oh, because yeah. that's one of the events like Palma Horse where there is not the possibility of getting connection bonus that's so right. you just have to do a lot of hard individual skills and do them cleanly that's right it's, all, it's almost humorous that these Chinese gymnasts are scoring what some of the other gymnasts start at <laughs> <laughs> The Japanese team prepping the bars. They will be next to go on parallel bars after watching China put on a masterful display. Quick recap in the team scores coming into this fifth of six rotations. China in the lead by more than five points, 5.3. Korea behind Japan by three tenths of a point. Then the United States looking very strong. 0.275 behind Korea in fourth. It drops back six tenths of a point to Russia and then one tenth of a point back to Germany in sixth place. Spain in seventh and Romania in eighth. So China out to a comfortable, enormous lead. But the medals are certainly still up for grabs as the United States, currently in fourth place, takes to the high bar. David Durante, the U.S. national champion, will be set to go. And he has a few tricky release elements coming up in the beginning of his routine. High bar, one of the riskiest routines, no question about it, because you do have to let go of the bar Absolutely. and you do have to catch it. Absolutely. So enormous pressure here on the Americans who are sitting in fourth place in the team competition. And here you see some of the teams, they prep the bars before they compete according to whatever standards they like. I'm glad to see that the gymnasts get this one-touch warm-up in other world championship format competitions, the gymnasts warm up in a training hall in the right, background, and it's right. nowhere near as good, and I believe it's dangerous. And this is much better. This is the best system for the best quality and the safest quality safest. of gymnast gymnastics that we can see. Okay, we're coming back with more of Rotation 5. And they're away at the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. So the U.S. still well back. It's a big gap to make up. The United States would not win the title unless Daryl Williamson has some unbelievable sprint left in him down this final finishing stretch, which is not out of the question. Williamson lifting beautifully. Can he pass and win the title? Yes! The U.S. men win the title. The course is set. Destination, the four corners, where background, stats, and stories are mapped out each week. Race and track over and in the water, on the snow for winter sports, and on and off the floor. Meet the athletes, get the stories, and see the action as WCSN takes you inside the sport, inside the corner. The Four Corners, where only the best need a fly. WCSN brings you another defining moment from the championship corner. And now, we go in to sudden death the final round to once again see if Steven Lopez can make history. That is ball game. He did it. Steven Lopez, four-time world champion. The greatest of all time. WCSN.com brings you a winter wonderland. Let's get ready to take flight. Pure poetry. Watch World Championships. Oh, good God! Be a part of every world record. This guy is capable of going really far at any time. Watch your favorite champions. 
Win medals daily, only at WCSN.com. Beautiful touch. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow. Remember that play right there. And there it is. And here is Lateva spinning around. Could we get a pin here on the five-time world champ? Beam. Noun. Long piece of timber or a ray of light. Verb. To send a broadcast signal. To smile. Beam. Also known as a prop to balance on. Open your mind. Oh, that was a big moment for the Oakland. First one to go on the beam in that rotation. We're back live from Stuttgart, Germany. The second half of the fifth rotation here. The United States men head to the high bar. Mark Williams, the coach of the team there, getting ready. He and Kevin Majika are the leaders of this program, getting ready to put up David Durrani, the Stanford graduate and the reigning U.S. national champion. Durrani in the qualifying round scored a 14-6-2-5 on high bar. And he's generally very solid here. Once he gets past these tricky release elements, should be smooth sailing. Nice layout, Kovacs. Very nice form and execution. Just a tuck Kovacs. Notice his toe point does have good execution. Layout to Kovacs. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness. That was unexpected. And his routine was so aggressive. Exactly. You do all these hard elements, and then well, that's considered one of the easier elements. To lay out to Kachev, see the bar relatively the whole time. Just set it a little too far. Couldn't get his dowels around the bar. Eight tenth of a point deduction. Plus do not get of credit the exactly. for the skill. That will not be what the U.S. needed at this point currently in fourth place in the team competition here in the fifth of six rotations. Nice double-double finish. Unfortunately, it falls in this new set of rules really can make or break you as a team or an individual. Yosuke Hoshi for Japan. See what they can come up with after China wrote the book on how to do parallel bars. Chinese guys probably sitting back having a cup of coffee knowing they have this one in the bag. But the silver and bronze medals are very much up for grabs. Oh, nice oh, these, looking underbar these work. These Japanese, their, their technique Ooh. on the peach elements are just in a class by themselves. We had a training camp in Japan and I remember vividly getting instructed on how to do these peach elements perfectly. There's just no one in the world that does it like them. What do they do differently than the rest of the world? You know, it has a lot to do with how they fall back from the handstand and reach that deep pipe and the opening position coming out. Just, it's all one fluid motion. Some guys you might see bend their arms or muscle it. Japanese gymnasts, all the peaches, they look like swing elements. Mm. The Japanese were actually only a tenth behind the Chinese, roughly a tenth behind the Chinese coming into this competition on this event, ranked second. So they're a very good team on P-bars. He scored a 16.0. Big, big score on parallel bars these days in the qualifying round. The score for Durrani, a disappointing 15, 13, 5, 7, 5. Yeah, that will definitely hurt. 
especially as we're rounding out the last two rotations. Plus, it puts extra pressure on the other two performers. That's right. Sasha Artemev. And Jonathan Horton, the other two Americans to go on the high bar. To the pommel horse now. Korean team currently in third place. Just a little less than three-tenths of a point ahead of the United States going into this rotation. It's that flop sequence. Oh. oh. And those leg separations are really going to cost. That was large enough to a point where the judges may not even give recognition to the skill. All right. I'm grinding it out. He did grind it out. It in some cases, that's what you have to do, right? Especially in, you know, three up, three count, a pommel horse. Talk to several gymnasts. There's so many nerves you're dealing with. Pommel horse is one of those got to be on events. But if you're not, you just hack through it. And just hack through it. Avoid yeah. any major error, right? Exactly. 15.875 for Hoshi. On some of the other events, you can fight fight your way back to good execution and good routine on pommel horse sometimes the more you fight the more off you are mm -hmm. a little mistake can multiply first look at Shunkuahara Japan he did four events in the qualifying round he was the alternate to last year's world team this is his favorite event Interesting, he began at gymnastics at age 10. A lot of the Japanese oh, gymnasts start considerably older than the rest of the gymnasts. Absolutely. So it's not uncommon that their team is four to six years older than the rest of the world. Right. It's just the way the system works in Japan. Many of them don't even start till eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. Where in the United States and many other countries, three, four, five, six years old is more That's common. That's right. How old were you when you started? I was four. Yeah. At a 15.825 in the qualifying round. Ouch. Outside of the uh, color of the uniform, you would think this is a Chinese yeah, gym that's nice. just packed with difficulty and has a very nice look to it. A lot of endurance to get through that oh, many wow, skills. That. Oh! Oh! And that's a mistake. I mentioned endurance right as he just about ran yeah. out of gas. That's a tough move at the end at of the, the routine. End. At the end. You know, you would think because there's no connection, you could construct that routine in a different manner. Doing yeah. a skill of that magnitude right before your dismount after so much, uh, so many hard skills is maybe want to rethink that routine a little bit. Nonetheless, he gets props yeah. for going for it. Kim Ji Hoon will be the final performer on Horse for Korea. They have looked less than spectacular here. It's nice to see, though, that these Asian countries, their swings are very similar in style. Ooh. A fight there on that Shivato. This is an event where the body type really plays a factor in how well you can do. You just have to be fortunate to have a little bit longer arms, perhaps a little shorter torso, a very lean. That's right. Jonathan Horton will go up for the United States. He is the... And I wonder what kind of pressure he has right now, Bart. Well, we did not see this because they were covering something else, but Sasha Artemev from the United States fell from the high bar. So 
Yeah, this up. adds pressure to Horton here. They've had a fall from Durani and Artinev. Oh! Oh, a little close in there. close. There's a few more of these coming up. There's another one in close again. Oh! You know he's got to be thinking, yeah. get it close because I can't afford a complete fall. That's right. He wants to hit this. Uh, this is... Uh, one of those aggressive routines that he's it is doesn't have the luxury of hanging it out there like he see might what normally. he does here this dismount is sweet oh he does do it <laughs> that is a triple twisting double layout you won't see many of those in this competition it's the next level up from the double double laid out that's why they call him x games he can do every trick in the book 15 3 5 for kuahara we saw that minor bobble at the end of his exercise. This team battle heating up and not good for the United States to have two falls from the high bar. And uh, a little sloppy routine from Horton as a result of him trying to be conservative. Domita now. He is uh, spectacular on this event as well. Those peach elements, they do them so fluidly. Many gymnastics fans will remember he oh, wow. clinched a gold medal for the Japanese team at the Olympics in 2004 with a outstanding, gutsy high bar performance. I remember that. I was watching. I know. You were standing right there, my friend as an alternate to that team. Oh. And that's a nice routine. Well, he is so dependable. He is. He absolutely is. Once again, you see that sense of calm. Um, like, no big deal. This is what I do. Even his teammates say that about him. He just smiles very little. He's just overall a solid guy. The Japanese team will go to the high bar, much like what we saw from the Olympics in 2004. Can they hang on to the high bar? A medal could be theirs if they do. We'll recap the scores when we come back. More gymnastics from the World Championships in a minute. It's building up to a classy competition. If you like track and field, you can't complain. Tactical awareness and raw power, a difficult combination. Listen to the crowd of 40,000 go crazy for their countrymen. Tedeschi really setting a blistering pace here. That's a very big lead group. He's jumped his way into first position. He wins this, he'll win the overall as well. He's really sprinting. The delighted world champion of 2006. And here they go. The finish line is in sight. Australia's number 17, Oni Oni Wood, the bronze medalist, but it's going to be a Dutch winner, it appears, of the world championship. Ever since the dawn of man, or shortly thereafter, men have claimed Monday night. Not anymore. It's ladies' night on WCSN, a Monday night tradition. Whether it's the women of downhill or the grace of gymnastics, Ladies' Night boasts the two-for-one special. Women in sports and the sports women love. So if you're the type of woman who'd rather cycle than shop, grab the remote because now Monday nights are for the ladies too. Ladies' Night, every Monday night on WCSN. WCSN.com brings you the countdown to Beijing. What a performance there. It's going to be too close to call. That cheat does it. Watch World Championships. Unbelievable stuff here at the World Championships. Be a part of every world record. The new world record for the Americans. Watch your favorite champions win medals daily. Only at WCSN.com. A beautiful turn there by Mancuso. 
small backside air, front side seven. And Big Mark <laughs> just dancing through the gates. Now with the Olympic oh! Stadium of Look at that! And this is the Canadian Eric Gay, the 25-year-old from Quebec. Split time approaching, and Gay has bettered that by two-tenths of a second. Now he's lost that lead. He trails by two hundredths. But there is some time to be found on the bottom of this course. Eric Gay has found the time, and he's found the lead. By half a second, the Canadian moves into first. Mark Connor and Raj Bobs are back at the World Gymnastics Championships. A couple of scores we can recap here. Korea struggled a little bit on the pommel horse. Jonathan Horton, a clutch performance on the high bar. A little close on his release moves, but he did not give away a major deduction after two falls for the United States. 14-8-7-5. Pretty exciting team battle as China extends their lead here by more than six points over second place Japan. The score for Tomita, 16.025 for that class parallel bar routine. Germany is just in third place, Korea in fourth. Russia fifth, United States in sixth, unfortunately, after those falls. Spain in seventh, and Romania in eighth. There are the standings, folks. China will run away with this. But Japan looks solidly in the silver medal position. The bronze medal is still up for grabs, and Germany, the host country, has their eyes on it. WCSN brings you another defining moment from the championship corners. Julia Mancuso to seal the deal now. With bib number 30 for this slalom run. 30th skier down the hill and the last of the challengers for the podium. Just needs a clean run. A slalom run is going to do it. And she has the lead at the split. By seven tenths, Julia Mancuso has the lead from Lindsay Kildow. If she's solid and smooth the rest of the way, the U.S. is going to have an historic day here in Zalkensee, Austria. Julia Mancuso rolling the edges over. Looking balanced and smooth as she comes to the bottom of the course across the finish line. And she has got it. By only six hundredths of a second, Julia Mancuso is going to win the Super Combined in Zalkensee. All bets are off when Saturday night at the track takes the air on WCSN. See the world's best displaying the speed, skill, and focus necessary to win a world title. Whether it's on the pavement, at the track, or on the dirt, the finish line is all that matters. So forget win and place. The only show you need is Saturday night at the track. Maybe Bekele starting to draw away, and what do you know? Here he goes. Bekele, 200 meters remaining. World record mark for Gebra Selassie in his sights. And he's going to do it. Whoa! A big chunk. A big, big chunk off the mark. and seven World Gymnastics Championships heading into the first half of the sixth and final rotation here in Stuttgart. A incredible team battle. China running away with it. Japan solidly in second. But the bronze medal in the team competition is certainly up for grabs. The host country Germany sitting in that spot right now. About two tenths of a point ahead of Korea who takes to the rings. And they are followed by Russia and the United States in sixth place. United States about 
slightly more than two points behind Germany. And both Germany and the United States will be finishing on the floor. So here we go. And I think what the Koreans really need to focus on here is just doing clean routines. Rings is an, an event that is relatively low risk, meaning you don't see many falls. As long as you hit these positions and hold them for two seconds and nail your handstands and put the dismount on your feet, you're going to be in good shape. So see if they can put together three routines there that do that. In the qualifying round, the Korean team placed only 18th among all the teams here, so this is really and that's a pretty not good their routine. best, but that was nice. Minimizing deductions by sticking your dismount, that's a key, that plays a key role in this whole competition. Landings. They had two scores in the 13 point range on rings in qualifying. And now here are the Japanese' best events, what they captured the Olympic gold with. Truly are world class on this event. They are 3.5 ahead of Germany. And Germany will be on the floor where it's unlikely you'll see any major disasters. High bar, there's always a possibility of some drama because of the release moves. Oh, nice. That's what's extra critical about the first guy to go up. It sort of sets the mood for the rest of the guys, doesn't Very it? Very much so. And although this is an individual sport, this team competition, you could really work off of momentum from the other teammates. And that also can work against you because if someone is nervous or exactly. falls, it uh, just loads up the pressure on the following performers. Absolutely. Boy, this is a great routine. This is a great routine. Pack with difficulty. Nice. Wow. It's no wonder why they were the best in the world on this event and have been for a long time. They did qualify with the highest team score. The second highest team score on high bar in the qualifying rounds was with hosts Germany. A lot of difficulty. A lot of difficulty. Three big releases. Clean. Very clean. And this is just their first guy. I think what they're looking to do is just try and close the gap on the Chinese. The Chinese are also on high bar, one of their weaker events. Yu Wong Chul, 15 points. He's a tenth of a point higher than what he scored in the qualifying round. Yang Tae-yung. Who is going to go down in history as the guy who didn't get the Olympic gold medal. <laughs> Paul Hom and Yang Tae-yung in that epic post-competition court battle over who yeah. Deserves the gold medal. It should have been determined on the floor of competition and not in a court somewhere. And I think it was. It was. Fairly determined. I Paul, agree. Paul did. Paul was the technical master that night. And everybody had some slight mistakes, including Paul Hom, but at the end of the day, he deservedly won the gold medal in the all around. Would like to see a head on head competition, though, wouldn't you? Those two battle it out one day. Now that sounds like some kind of American <laughs> TV program. One on one for a exactly. million dollars. You think Paul would be in? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure Fox would carry a show. Like that. <laughs> man <laughs> on man. <laughs> Quienes mas macho. Okay, Yang Tae Young. Finish strong on the rings. And again, just that's their second guy. Nice, clean routine. They're doing what they need to do. Mizutoria, 15 6 2, 5. That's a, a very good score on high bar. I had said earlier that high bar was going to be one of the lower scoring events in this competition due to some rule changes. So scores above 15 
are generally very good. And in fact, he was two tenths of a point higher than his qualifying score. So outstanding start. Well, that's unusual. He jumped to the high bar without the help of his coach. That's Some do that. Huh. I'm not tall enough. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. Oh, nice. Very nice. One thing I always notice is that the Japanese strive for execution during their release moves. You'll mm. see that their knees do not come apart upon catching the bar. It's somewhere where the Japanese really tend to segregate themselves as world-class high bar swingers. These elements here. Oh! oh. Little bobble, but he kept the rhythm going. Don't think he missed any connection. Just a deep dismount, very clean, stuck. He was planning a routine that had 6.8 in terms of difficulty. That's hard on the high That's bar. That's very hard. But a lot of those full twisting moves to L grip, those are how you rack them up, isn't it? That and the quast. releasing elements, the connecting into releases and out of releases, where you gain the most connection on the high bar. The release element. Look at his knees. They do not come apart. Yang Tae Young score of 14.0. Oh, that's awfully low. Very low on this. Not enough strength moves in ascending fashion, perhaps, or connections to merit a big score. Kim Dae Young. Set to go. Actually might make Germany's job a little bit more easier on floor. Germany in third place, just slightly more than two tenths of a point ahead of Korea, who is not scoring particularly well on the ring, so all signs point to the fact that Germany might be able to hang on to that bronze medal position. Kim Dae-yung from Korea. Oh, oh no, and a little struggle there on that plange. He's trying to catch it a little too perfect. Oh, and boy, once and you run can, out of gas, you are toast. Yes, mm. exactly what happened. Silver medalist at the 2004 Olympics. He was the most overshadowed gymnast at those games because of the fiasco with Paul Hom and third place winner Yang Tae-yung, Kim Dae-yung. And those two strength elements are really going to hurt this routine. And he knows it. So Korea is going to make it easy on Germany to likely hold on to that bronze medal position. That they did. What happened here? I It was probably stemmed from the skill before it was an uprise plange and looked like he was trying to be too perfect on it and sometimes you catch too perfect and your grip can kind of roll over or muscles aren't locked out enough or you catch the position too low and there's just no fight left in you because you caught the position too low and I'm sure his brain was a little frazzled going into that next Maltese out of gas a little bit. It is the end of the competition. Oshii score 14-8. Japan solidly in second place. Two very good high bar performances. Hiroyuki Tomita now. And here's the guy I would want on my team if I was last up in a team competition. And Still one of the most thrilling moments yeah. that I remember in the, the 2004 Olympic. when these je Japanese gentlemen stepped up and That's did right. really hard routines under really hard. enormous pressure. And it could have been easy for them to water down and play conservative, but, man, they went for the gusto, and it paid off. The American men finished with the silver medal and Romania the bronze. But all... Look at that. There's just congratulations not... to the guts of this Japanese team. That Coleman there, there's not many oh. people in the world that do that better. It's hard to keep good form on a Coleman and it square is. it up. That 
I've always appreciated this sort of classic presentation of the Japanese gymnast. That's right. There's a nice rhythm. Very much so. And once again, Tamita, what a meet this guy has had. Every wow. routine. That looks like 04 all over again. Unbelievable. He's rock solid. He is like the coolest customer here. He is. He is. His teammates are even taking pictures of him. They're like, yeah, you're really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an action We're glad figure. you're on our team. He is. He's great. If he gets full credit for everything, which I expect he will, 16.8 is the start. 6.8 6 to start value for Tomita. Maximum 16.8 score. And that was a nice routine. Probably the best high bar I've seen tonight. Very little emotion on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he has that little grin. You can tell he's happy. Uh, they are missing Kashima, one of their former world medalists who's not here because of an injury. So... Um, Unlikely, though, even if they had their team at full strength, if Japan would be able to challenge the powerhouse China team. But consistency is the key, and both Japan and China, the class of the field here, no question about it. Who will get the bronze medal? Well, Korea faltered on rings. Germany will take to the floor as their final rotation likely to solidify their position in front of this home crowd. It's going to be wild and it's going to be loud. Race for the bronze, Bart. Don't go away, folks. WCSN brings you another defining moment from the championship corner. We are at the 2007 FINA World Championships with Kate Ziegler going for gold. Let's go poolside. Look at the two leaders. They are fighting tooth and nail for the gold medal here. The white cap of Law Manadou of France. The black cap of Kate Ziegler of the United States. She won't give up though, Ziegler. Will not give up at all. Manadou, the sprint from Ziegler. Ziegler it is, trying to get over the top. Manadou starting to tie now, and Ziegler it is who's finishing stronger. Ziegler, Manadou, stroke for stroke. Ziegler, Ziegler will get there. The United States win another gold medal. Ziegler, championship record. Manadou takes a silver in an epic encounter. They don't have to be short to be sensational. What a race. Explosive and very beautiful technique. What? There it is. There it is. Ricardo punches it off of Fabio and out of bounds. Warren can still win with a point and he gets the takedown. Picked up again. Phnom Penh. Ah, oh, what an angle for that one. Oh, Fabrice with that running attack. Great match. Beautiful dismount with an awesome stick. Fantastic. Both players displaying their skills back from the table. Brilliant play from Wang Hao. 